At Coon Rapids High School, students use yeast inside a petri dish to witness the effects of ultraviolet radiation. You have a lot of yeast on there so you can use as much as you want. Labs like this are a common part of the school's Center for Biomedical Sciences and Engineering. It looks really good. The starter plate looks awesome. This experiment illustrates a common disease, skin cancer. It's just one of many hands-on lessons available to students in the program. I really like the glowy core. Oh my gosh, I love that one. That was my favorite one too, yes. These seniors say the experiments are the best part. Because we do things that people are like, you. <laughs> they were the very first class of freshmen to join the biomed program when it first began at Coon Rapids four years ago and have been dissecting, researching, and experimenting ever since. It gives you like the college experience in high school and it's just kind of easier to like understand the topics. It's made Coon Rapids High School a destination for science-minded kids throughout the metro. It's a class you look forward to. It's that one that you dread going to. It's kind of like, oh, we get to come to biomed and have fun. <laughs> Well, you get to learn and have Made possible through a partnership called the Northwest Suburban Integration School District, any student that lives within one of the seven school districts that make up the group can apply to join the magnet program at Coon Rapids for free, including transportation. I knew right away that I really wanted to be a doctor and I really loved science. Angela Belaus chose Coon Rapids over her assigned high school, Anoka, as soon as she saw the biomed registration packet. And inside of it was like a giant list of classes I could take as a biomed student. And I honestly sat there and I looked at that class and I was like, I need to go here. I'm like, this is where I belong. Four years later, <laughs> Angela knows she made the right choice. Honestly, it just provided a community. It was really great to have a family, like a biomedical family to be around. The program expanded last year to include an engineering path as well. So what, what's your tolerance for the whole thing? What's the dimension of the whole thing? Students in Scott Stork's Intro to Engineering Design use a 3D modeling program, create isometrics, and try their hand at product enhancements. You know, I've always known Noka Hennepin as on the cutting edge uh, on a lot of things. And so being involved in this program was a real honor because I think there is a, it's a lot of value for it. What would be their two hypotheses then? In the four years since Coon Rapids launched the Center for Biomedical Sciences and Engineering, enrollment has grown to more than 400 students. For the seniors that are preparing for life after high school, it created a solid foundation. All four of these students plan to pursue science and medical careers. They feel the real world experiences they've had here put them ahead of many of their peers. Well, when I first started, I really didn't know that much about college and majors and stuff like that. And as I continued on, I really did fall in love with biology. It's really hands-on. It's, it's definitely not something you just sit down and learn. You have to actually participate and be a part of the team. And uh, it just shows that you know, what we have in our school district and what we have here at Coon Rapids is pretty special. From Coon Rapids High School, I'm Jennifer Anderson for CTN Spotlight.